In my previous video, I've showed you how I used my C900 based Arduino phone to control those four LEDs using the dual tone multi frequency signaling or DTMF, uh, which is basically the same technology that is used when you call a service center and you're asked to press one for service, two for whatever. Um, it's basically that those tones that your keypad on the phone makes and it can be identified on the other side and it be used to communicate with the service. If you haven't seen the video, I'm going to place a, a link in the description. And then I thought to myself, what could be a really, really cool use for this technology? And I remember that when I was a kid, people used to call on the phone to the TV, or well, the TV station basically, and play a game on the screen using the phone, the, the keypad of the phone. And I said, well, that'd be a cool use. So then I remembered I've created a tic-tac-toe game based on the TV out. I'm a really retro guy. Uh, TV out that used composite video. And I'm gonna con I've connected those two. So basically you can call the phone and play tic-tac-toe on the screen. So I'm gonna hook up everything together and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I'm gonna do this in stages. The third thing I've done is I've connected the Arduino and it's powered by a power bank that the white thing behind it. And you can see I'm gonna turn it up and I'm connected to the composite video. And I'm gonna switch it on and I'm gonna rotate the TV. So now as you can see the screen, you got the tic-tac-toe on the screen, you're gonna show who is the player right now by marking it like this. This is the cursor, so it's telling you where you are. This is the computer sign, X is you. And now we're gonna connect the phone, call it, and play the game. So one of the most obvious changes I've made is I've changed the board into a mega. And the reason for that is I wanted a few more serial ports. And now the game is connected to the serial port 2 of the Mega. Okay, so I'm calling the phone. You can see, I'm dialing. And now the phone is ringing. I'm going to answer the call. And now we are connected. And now you can see I have the touch pads and I'm just going to play around with the game and now if I want to choose I'm gonna sorry press 8 and I'm gonna press 5 now the computer is played Even though playing a tic-tac-toe over the phone is really cool, probably most of you noticed that it's not really responsive, so playing any game at some point will get annoying. I thought of making Tetris playing like that, but with an unresponsive real-time of the keyboard, it's just not going to be fun. So I thought, well, it's still a cool technology and I want to do something with it. So my next step is doing home automation. I know some of them were done, but I'm going to just switch on and off things using the same technology. I even brought an MP3 player so the system is gonna talk to you, ask you for passwords and stuff like that. So stay tuned. 